I think I ran off in like the sugar in the bowl. I mean, you have to shake it. I've got the shakes. I might throw up. I don't know. We're gonna see. I don't know why I torture myself like that, but I would be awake in five minutes. And just so my hot springs people know. Lakeside. Psych. I homeschool my kids. And I know you're not used to seeing me or nothing, but this is the best I can do. <laughs> it might be cold this morning. And look, I'm just going to say the men's jeans are winning. Walmart men's jeans. I don't know where my hairbrush is, and uh, I think we forgot to bring socks. And that's it. That's, we gotta go with the classics. Now, y'all should have known I was gonna creep out there before daylight and get y'all the perfect sunrise time lapse of the barn. This is facing east. This is most likely where we plan to put the food forest and the home, a tiny home, actually right in front of it. Right there where those t posts are, we believe, were grapevines in a small garden. But look at this. This river cane overgrowth is so bad on the east side of the property that we will have to thin it some. It's kind of suffocating out some of the native trees. But I am still waiting to speak with Arkansas Game and Fish Commission along with a couple of other resources before touching anything. Again, this is the north side of the property where we chose to start working at. We're going to try to clear it from the road all the way back to the barn because all of these trees you see need so much love and care. Now, we did creep in the barn and it was creepy and I'm taking you with me. So, see that giant stick? That's the septic. There's the yucca. Back to the east is where the food forest will be that I just showed you. And the back line of wooded area there is mostly the property line, but there is some property there on the ridge in the back of the woods. Joey was getting our coffee fixed up, but here's the barn. So there's a solid concrete foundation that runs all the way to the end. Did you see this main beam? And that one, so I'm a little sketched. I'm definitely like kicking around stuff and making noises. The drum set. And I think the noise we hear popping is the tin heating up from the sun rising, because the sun's rising. But it keeps sketching me and Joey out. <laughs> what? I've seen the last signs of life. Someone's got ear pods. Oh my god. But yeah. All right. Hey, look, there's a water line right there. Uh oh wow, this did have electric. Come here. There's a light. Oh, there's the Duh. Duh, Megan. All right. Big old granddaddy long leg. What I don't want to step on. It's a rattlesnake. That's why I'm kicking around and making noises. So that way, if something hears me, it'll let me know. See that? Kelly's closet. 
There's something moving over here. Ugh. It's probably the wind in the tent, but it totally creeped out, man. A full drum set. Is that what you said, Joey? You were gonna, you were gonna play the drums. Look at the Arthur fist he's got balled up with the machete. He's so he's ready to throw down. There's another electrical. So yeah, structurally, I don't know about this one. I don't know, man. Really. And this right here, we believe, is where the last property may have sit, like a tiny home, but you see the north view. Now, immediately behind this barn is the Wet Weather Creek and a huge piling of wooden fence that used to border the property right behind the house. Or actually, I think it was right in front of the house. We did walk this entire portion out. However, I didn't record it, so I'll be sure to take you guys out there today. But we did have to make a run for Waldron, and look how beautiful this view is coming into Waldron. We had to stop by the hardware store and get some posted and no trespassing signs. And let me tell y'all, Waldron is like the cutest little town ever. Then we got our butts back out here to the property, and our first order of business was cleaning around the well pump. And today we'll be inspecting it to kind of see what may need to be replaced. While we were out there, we did not see any shortage of wildlife. Look at this little guy. I also found some massive, massive night crawlers in all of this cane mulch. And the soil beneath it is amazing, which we will take some soil samples today. Now right here you see Joey and I got busy. We're trying to get this as clear as possible so when we have to hire anyone to come out to look at it, it is clean and free of debris and any wildlife. Honey, nobody wants to reach in and grab a nope rope, okay? When we were about halfway through this, uh, to our surprise, our neighbors pulled by and waved, and a second neighbor actually pulled up to meet us. Let me just tell y'all, I think we're in good hands. We got good people around us. These guys were having a blast yesterday. I made sure to send my kid who loves bikes a good video of that, and this was the sunset on the property right before we left. Look at that. But just wait, it gets even prettier because on our way back into town, this was the sunset. We got some food, got to bed, and we're back up early bright this morning to get back out there to finish the job before heading back home to Hot Springs. 